Good morning, Conley friends and Conley parents. Today I'm gonna just walk you through some simple ways to try out this awesome project. This is the mouse color wheel project. One of the biggest complaints that my sister tells me all the time, she has two kids in elementary school or she gets these projects that have way too many supplies. And so I'm gonna try to keep it really simple for you guys. I'm gonna give you a few different options on how to do this one. So the color wheel mouse project, this is what it looks like. And so here are some options for you to do it at home. Something that you could do is you could just simply draw out six mice on your paper, or if you wanted to, you could either have your students or you uh, as a parent could cut this out for them so that they could trace it on there. And you would just have them trace it six times over. Or like I said, you could just simply draw them out. They don't have to be perfect. So I cut out a tracer, kind of looks like an egg, and I traced it once and then I traced it twice and I probably would have gone three, four, and then five and six. And then I went back in and I started to add the detail like the tail and the ears and the eyes and the nose. So once I would do that to all six of them, then I can go in and start to either color them in. So you could color them in with markers if you wanted to, or if you have watercolor paints, that would be the best option. But if you don't have them, it, you can still do the same thing with markers. You could just mix the colors together to make the color. You could even use it with crayons or colored pencils. So really any materials that you have at home, oil, pastels, anything would work for this. But if you have watercolor paint, that would work best. So what I do is I have the kids paint a yellow mouse, a blue mouse, and a red mouse first, and they'll leave a space in between. And then once they're done with that, they can use the palette to mix the primary colors together to make the secondary colors and paint the ones in between. And then they will have a perfect rainbow. And what I encourage the kids to do, or the students to do, is to paint around the ears and around the eyes. So that way they're working on those fine motor skills and um, it looks really great in the end. So if you wanna try this project, it's the, pic the final picture is up on the website, and I hope you have so much fun.